guys Malia from the Malia SOC Vlogs YouTube channel and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new here, I'm Malia and I'm a Swansea City fan. If there are any US, Derby County or Swindon Town fans even on here, um, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn post notifications. Yes, I'm recording this very late in the night, so apologies if my voice is quite low, but yeah. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be discussing um, Paul Ariola, Keon Freeman, Morgan Whitaker and the departure of John Garrick. So let's get right into it then. So I'm going to start with the, um, the topic of the evening, which is Paul Ariola has signed for Swansea City a uh, day after he played for the US men's national team and actually scored a brace in that game. Um, he's a, he's a, uh, he's like a multi, he's like a multi-positioned, um, mid, well, a player. He can play, he can play as a forward, like on the right wing, he can play in the midfield and he can play a right wing back. So, um, in a way as a cover up for Connor Roberts I guess but um, yeah um, obviously um, he's 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 played for he's played uh, currently he's playing for his football at DC United obviously we all know them because of our own us but um, and yeah um, his stats right here um, unfortunately has been injured for a majority of the um, a majority of the MLS season um, before but um, that hasn't stopped him but last year he did get, get 30 games six uh, goals and two assists and he had two red cards so it's not, it's, it shows he's not afraid to go in for a tackle obviously but um yeah um and then 2018 he got he actually got seven goals and six assists which is very good for him for him and um, yeah, he looks like a really decent player. Like, but uh, it's unfortunate in injuries hit him because he could really be a, a really good player for um, a really good player for DC United. But um, in in um, 2020, I believe it was the first game of the Met uh, US Men's National Team. Correct me wrong. It's the first one I've seen anyway. Um, I think it's Tabongo. He played last night. Um, and uh, he actually scored a brace, so um, fair dues to him. But he did come off, um, and I guess I, I guess he wasn't expecting to come play for us uh, today. Um, well, I guess he didn't like you know, you know he wasn't aware that he was signing at that point. So, and it, yeah, he actually does a bit of a swan celebration. Um, I don't know if that means something. US fan, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. Um, I'm not really sure what, what that celebration means, but I, do, I, I have heard something about him doing a, like a swan type celebration. So it's it's um it's a uh, it's a bit of coincidence he's done that because um well he signed for the swans. But anyway, um I I my thoughts on the sign, and I think he's going to be a really decent sign, and I think he's going to help us impact a lot on the right hand side. He's also he's a bit of a cover up for Conor Roberts, I guess, and. I think he's the type of player that you want today. So, um, yeah, and uh, yeah, it was it was really unexpected because he he hasn't actually flown over here yet. So it would be interesting to see when he does fly over here. Um, hopefully he's um, available in the match they scored against Norwich on Friday. Um, but um, yeah, that's what I got to say about Paul Ariola. Um, my fault on him. He's a really decent sign in. Um, He's probably he's probably gonna get the number two shirt or something like that. I'm not really sure yet, but um, yeah, from what I've seen of his highlights, he's he's actually quite good. So yeah, Paul Ariola, welcome to Swansea City, mate, and uh, hopefully you settle him well and uh, get straight down to work, mate. Moving on to an English-based striker in Morgan Whitaker. Now, uh, this guy's only just tw 20 years old. He's a uh, forward and he played for Derby County all his life. Um, he's at Derby County actually his boyhood club, so um, this is the first move away from Derby County himself. But um, yeah, um, he's well, this year he's played nine matches, no goals, no assists, which is well, it's quite typical for a youngster. But hopefully Steve Cooper can work his magic and uh, bre um, get some uh, goals under um, Morgan Whitaker's belt. And uh, yeah, in the um, in the nineteen twenty season, he actually. He actually got 16 games, one goal, one assist, which is, well, it's not bad, I guess, but he hasn't scored this season. But, um, yeah, I guess, I guess it's I guess it's a start. Like, I, he did say he was he worked with Mike Marsh for the majority of his England youth um, set-up, so hopefully that, that uh, doesn't uh, really... Um, um, that hopefully that um, will help us um, 
build Morgan Whitaker's confidence up like a bit like we did with Jamalo, I guess. Um, just build his confidence up and hopefully he'll be bagging goals left, right, centre. So, um, Morgan Whitaker, my faults on him, I, I reckon he's going to be a really decent player. Uh, he knows the manager. He wasn't really a Philip Kaku type uh, player. Uh, well, he was a Philip Kaku type player and wasn't really a Wayne Rooney type player, which I guess is why you which I guess is why you assume the matches he's played so uh, most, of them, most of them he's come off the bench so you can't really blame him for not really scoring many goals but yeah um, I wouldn't be surprised if he did come on against us um, before and um, yeah I'm, I'm excited to see what, what Morgan went to get to can do obviously um, I think I think he'll benefit us a lot. I think he played against Manchester United in the EFL Cup last year for Derby. So um, hopefully, hopefully he'll bring some experience um, from his like from playing against Manchester United, and hopefully he'll be playing against them in the league next year. So um, yeah, hopefully he does well for us. Morgan Whitaker, welcome to Swansea City, mate. Moving on to our, our final signing of the deadline day. And it is Kevon Freeman. Now, funny thing is, he actually signed only a few weeks ago for uh, for uh, Swindon Town, and uh, he's uh, he's already left them. So it's like it's a bit it's a bit like that the uh, Simpsons meme where the grandpa just calls him, puts his hat on, doesn't have a circle, takes his hat and then leaves. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think um, I think it's. Um, I think it's a tactical sign then I guess. I think he's gonna be more of a backup to Roberts than Paul Ariola is gonna be. I think I think um I think he's actually I think he will bring his like confidence, um well and his experience to the Swansea City team and obviously um this is his previous record he's, he used he started his career out at nottingham forest and with this is where it gets tasty so he moved to the remote rivals derby county once and so we got another ex derby county team um player on our team and then he moved to sheffield united which is a bit of a snake move so i guess i wouldn't trust him for moving to cardiff in a few years but yeah um <laughs> and then he left sheffield united uh, because well he wasn't really playing much in the Premier League and uh, he moved to Swindon Town which he only played two matches for and that, that I said that right two matches and he didn't get any goals to assess the yellow cards red cards whatever but um, yeah I don't think I don't think um, I don't think the like the amount of games he's played for Swindon helps I don't think really I don't think really he had enough time to prove himself at Swindon but I guess if he if he's come to Swansea City, uh, Cooper must see something in him. So um, he's 28 years old too, so yeah, he he must have a few years left in him. So and he doesn't look that old. So um, who knows? But um, yeah, I guess I guess Kevon Freeman is um, gonna be more well as I said, more of a cover up for Conor Roberts. And uh, yeah, um, my thoughts really. Um, He's a decent player, he's going to be a decent squad player on the Swansea City squad. We've actually signed him on a permanent deal on, on a free, so that's uh, that's going to help us a lot. But uh, I'm going to be talking about another well, a departure in a minute, which which really got this deal done. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, keep on free, man. Welcome to Swansea City, mate, and uh, let's hope for the best for you, mate. I'm going to be talking about on the deadline day is uh, Joan Garrick leaving Swansea City on loan to join Swindon Town, obviously in exchange with Kieran Freeman. Now, um, Joan Garrick, um, this is what Swindon fans can expect, obviously. Um, I think he's a really, a, a really delicate player. I think he, he'll help you a lot on that uh, right hand side or whatever he plays. I think it's the right hand side anyway, but um, yeah. He was very crucial uh, for us last year, especially in those opening games against Queen's Park Rangers when he came on making his debut. He won a penalty within like a few minutes of him start, um, coming onto the pitch, so that that was uh, that was really good. And uh, obviously he made this uh, like EFL Cup debut, and um, against Northampton when he came on, he you he impressed, and I, I think he actually assisted one of Andre Hughes' opening goals for this one. So that's that's a plus for us, I guess. But um, yeah. Um, Joan Garrick obviously scored uh, the only goal he actually scored he, the only goal he actually scored was against Hull City in, in that dramatic 4-4 uh, 
draw in the, at the K Farm Stadium. And obviously, as I mentioned, there at Cambridge uh, United in the FL Cup. So, um, and I think he's yeah, he scored against Huddersfield Town too. So, yeah, so that's um, that that was a good goal because obviously I, that that was one of the last ones before COVID hit. So, um, I'm probably I remember, and I think that was the last goal I saw actually saw live in the stadium. So, um, sad times that is, sad times, but yeah, um. So my my uh, message to the fans you got a hell of a player but yeah, use him as you can because obviously the last time we loaned someone up to you um they actually did quite well you know if you didn't know Stephen Bender obviously went out on loan to Stephen um Swindon and uh, did quite well there to, in all fairness and uh, I I think uh, Swindon fans were actually want them back so uh, hopefully John Garrick can prove his wealth at uh, Swindon Town and uh, yeah hopefully he comes back a change player and uh, hopefully he can uh, Again, to ask for a bit more, but um, yeah, good luck to John Garrick. He deserves it, he deserves the amount of game time he's getting played. So it's frustrating he's not getting much game time at Swansea, but yeah, um, good luck, Jordan. And uh, yeah, we'll um, we'll see you when you get back here, mate. And uh, don't go leaving on us, yeah, so because you're our future, obviously. But yeah, John Garrick, good luck. He's moved to Swindon Town on a season long loan. Thank you for watching this video guys hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like subscribe to on post notifications any of swindon mls fans dc united fans us men's national team fans derby county fans on my channel please make sure to hit that like button subscribe to on post notifications i'm actually five away from 1.1k now so any help would do me um all sorts of wonders but um yeah thank you guys for watching i'll talk to you on the next one and welcome to swazi city paul Ariola, keegan freeman and morgan whitaker and the best of luck to Jordan Garrick, you jack bastard, go there and prove your wealth because we're not gonna we're not gonna let you slip like that. So, Jordan Garrick, good luck, mate, and uh, yeah, talk to you on a bit. Well, I'll see you on Friday for the Norwich um, watch along, but uh, yeah, take care, guys, and uh, yeah, up as swans.